ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right, we are 102 days away from the 2024 Daytona 500. So as we do these countdowns for the Daytona 500, we're going to look at the stats of those cars. So today's 102, tomorrow's 101, and on down the line. So car number 102 has made seven starts in the NASCAR Cup Series, two top 20s. Of those seven starts, two Dodge, two Plymouth, one Ford, one Oldsmobile. It ran in 51, 53, and 58. Now remember in 72, NASCAR made the rule where you can only have two digit numbers. So there is hundreds of numbers out there that were three digits that are no longer ringing in NASCAR. Um, Ray Duhigg ran in three races in the number 102. He had completed 213 laps, average finish 27th. He has a career of 54 starts. Marlon Edwards has a career of four starts, two of those in the 102. He finished 197 laps, average finish 24.5. Bud Gardner, his only career NASCAR start came in the 102. He completed 127 laps and finished 13th. Dan Eman Ian's had one race. He did that one in the 102. He had completed 147 laps, had an average finish of 27th. The best finish for car number 102 was July 16, 1958. Bud Gardner at State Line Speedway. He finished 13th that day. Um, the first race for the 102 came in July 15, 1951. Ray Duhigg, 100 miles at Heidelberg Raceway, where he finished 25th. That race where Bud Gardner finished 13th at 50 miles at State Line Speedway, that was actually the last race, July 16th, 1958, for car number 102. Not a lot of history, only seven races, but car 102 goes down in NASCAR history as we are 102 days away from the start of the 76th season in NASCAR, the 2024 Daytona 500. The NASCAR 75 Greatest Driver profile to go along with day 102 is going to be the one and only Tim Flock. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show and don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports channel content.